What's up dudes and dudes to the air now my name's Seth and today we're gonna be starting a mini series of spiral nights I don't know how long this series is gonna last for but a lot of you have been requesting me to play it I actually did play this game a very long time ago It's a free-to-play game that's actually very similar to Trove in a lot of regards or since this game came out first I guess I would say that Trove Clearly has borrowed aspects from this game because there's shadow layers very similar to shadow towers uh, Instance dungeons and stuff like that that, but it's not to say that it's just like the same game or anything. This is kind of like a top-down adventure. I've already got a character right here, which we'll swap to uh, in a bit. But in order to play through the tutorial, show you all the customization of your character and stuff like that, uh, I wanted to just start a new one. Before we get started, folks, I would very much appreciate if you would hit that like button for me. Let me know in the comments, support the video, and we'll see how far this ends up going. So this is the character customization. I love the character design in this game. I absolutely love it. Where you can end up changing your helmet from either boy or girl types of heads. Uh, like I said, I already have my main character, so we're just gonna make this guy look a little bit goofy. You can kind of mess around with the different costumes too. That one's female, this one's male, uh, this one's uh, kind of male, this one's female, etc, etc. You see how it goes. But at the same time, it's close enough that you can end up just picking whatever you want, right? Uh, and then the design is just kind of like the colors of your character, which is pretty cool. Uh, the amount of different weapons and stuff like that are pretty neat too the customization of them is pretty cool uh it doesn't really go that far like you don't get to customize them like this I don't want to give that impression But it's more that there's just gear and that you can actually like level up and stuff like that um, So you can kind of mess around with all this yourself because like I said, this is a free-to-play game uh, It's also very well optimized. So you're gonna be able to Probably play it without any issue. Let's give ourselves the little bow uh, And then we can also change our character's height, which let's make him super tall You can change the eyes which doesn't really matter so much on this costume uh, and then the eye color themselves So it, it's so cool man. Like I absolutely love it Let's just call this one Firsty I'll delete him later. Oh, his name's taken. Sure. Whatever. Jub Jub was actually taken. Oh my goodness gracious. Even Budge Budge is taken! What's going on?! What about I am the hot dog? Okay, yeah, of course that one would work. So of course I fully expect that all of you are gonna be experts at this game, as opposed to me being an absolute scrub. I'm gonna be playing with a controller too, although you can play with a mouse and keyboard. Oh, look at that, we're a Super Saiyan! I, I really uh, like the production of this game, love the colors and everything like that. It's just, it's so cool, really reminds me of a phone game. This was actually a very, very early Steam game, so it makes sense that it's so old, but it's still being developed. They actually even just recently this month ended up adding like a new armor pack now of course with it being free to play it does mean that it's very pay to win because you can pretty much buy currency for real money um, but the game does kind of have it where free players can end up grinding what the game calls crowns you can grind that from missions uh, and then you could end up trading that for some other type of resource or something I don't know uh, but there's always two different weapons in the game that you're gonna have access to you can use guns you can use swords uh, of course there is shield blocking as well uh, and then there is also apparently like bombs and there's allies that you can get later that have special powers and stuff Personally though, I never really played much further than the first dungeon because one of the things that I really like about this game Actually that I find very enjoyable is the fact that you can crank up the difficulty and get more rewards So I was grinding the first dungeon over and over and over again just off camera to kind of get used to the controls and stuff like that um, Don't really understand the mechanics towards leveling up your gear because I don't know if you level up per se But I know that there's all of this stuff that we're grabbing right now, which is considered heat uh, and if you get a enough of it you can end up leveling your gear now what we're gonna end up doing in this series is probably one dungeon equals one episode like I said it's gonna be kind of a micro series but for today we're gonna go through the tutorial and through the first dungeon just so I can show you all that uh, and kind of explain a little bit of the mechanics now these dudes that you see all around us that's the thing that's so cool and I love is that this game is showing us like this is what the end game is, you know, like that's what all of these players are. They're uh, players. That's what all these NPCs are is they're all um, 
different characters that we could end up eventually looking like. Now, of course, melee attacks are fun, but you can always charge your melee attack, and I like the fact that you can actually run around with it, and then it causes mega damage, but personally speaking, I find that uh, it doesn't really do that much extra damage. Maybe it does in the late game, but personally, I just like spamming the button because the amount of time that it takes to actually do the charge attack is just like, rip. Oh, I thought he was already dead. There, now he's dead. You big axed weirdo. Dummy. Aw oh, man, these other characters look so swag, man. I wanna look like you. Well, not you, you look ugles. I, I wanna look like, okay, maybe I do wanna look like that guy. Look at him, he looks like a knight. He's got angel wings too. He looks so sick. Oh, jeez. Level complete. And see, then our heat goes towards something. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we're in Canada and we're freezing to death. So now this is the hub area. Hello, other player. I think I was scaring him. Also, if you use the mouse and keyboard, you can do this while you walk. Hey, stop ruining my weird dance, dude. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, so the NPCs are trying to tell us, like she's just telling us, oh, there's a quest, go and talk to this idiot. Blah, 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 reinforce your gear, something or other. You can spend fire gems to level up your gear. Uh, and then you end up earning more fire gems. Uh, this is the big thing too. I this is where I think leveling comes into play as you get more prestige more prestige you get uh, This goes up in rank and then you end up getting more things that you can have access to I am assuming that's like your character level I don't really know if there's actually a character level per se, but Either way, man. Oh, look at that veteran knight. He looks so swag, man. All right, missions. So there's, this is a cool aspect aspect of the game. So there's rank, which is just kind of like going through the main story. Uh, once you get enough prestige, you can do prestige missions. Then there's expansion missions, which I'm assuming you got paid for. I don't know. Then there's arcade mode, but we're just gonna do this starting mission right here. I'm gonna crank up the difficulty because I don't care. You can add me up. Uh, I think you just add me up by my username. This is not my main username. We're gonna be using my main character. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna swap to him right now. And I am the hot dog can go in the trash. So somebody else can go ahead and claim that name. I don't care. Hee <laughs> hee. We are on our home ship and we could always go to the rescue camp, but we're not going to sucker We're gonna go and do the starting mission even though I already have it complete I don't care. We're gonna do it on elite anyways I had to cut out the loading screen But the other thing that I think is so cool about this game is the fact that even though you go to harder difficulties You can end up playing through them very effectively like it makes the game more challenging rather than making it Ah, oh, you need the best gear in the game now this idiot's telling us that we could forge up our gear Which whatever it doesn't really matter uh, this guy's telling us that we could swap our stuff and uh, swap your loadouts and junk like that. I don't know. Uh, this thing's kind of like a... Vitapods temporarily increase your maximum health until you return to town. I don't really know why that's there. Maybe it's a special power-up that we could end up using. I don't really know. But anyways, you would end up loading this area up with a party, whether it's public or with friends only, and then everybody could join in. Ah, the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I didn't scare any of you. Yes, I secretly do wish that I did. Okay, so I like doing the charge attack on these scrubber duckies. Take this, you weird mechanical freak! I think all of these power-ups that we're getting- let me press number four. Yeah! So these are power-ups that you can use in the dungeon, not outside of it. And, uh, because I'm not using a keyboard, Maybe I'll have to use it eventually, but we can't really use any of the power-ups. Or maybe we can, and I just don't really know the controls just yet. How dare you attack me! Oh my goodness gracious, no! They're starting to wreck me! It's so much more harder to commentate and fight at the same time! JK, this game's an, it's a joke, it's an easy game. <laughs> No, but really it's so cool. I don't know what the maximum amount of people that you can end up having with you is I'm assuming it goes up to four, but still like look at this game. Isn't this so cool? The fact that it's multiplayer as well, so add me up everybody. It also has a mailing system too, which is way better than Trove where you can mail each other items and stuff like that. So in the unlikely chance that this series ends up becoming a thing and you all really, really want me to keep playing it, uh, then, uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe further down the line if I ever get to the end game and get some stuff for giving away, you know, kind of similar to the Trove series, uh, I could end up giving things away very easily through the mail system or something. I don't know. Nuke! Whoops, I missed. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, so if you're quick enough, which of course I am, I'm the fastest ever. 
Yeah! You can end up destroying all these enemies before they even get to touch you. And you know what? Boom! <laughs> oh no, he had a friend! Die, friend! What is this weird thing? I'm assuming that that healed us? Yeah, that must have healed us or something like that. I, I don't know. Uh, and I'm guessing the other, like where that Vitapod thing is, do we actually get to use that or have to use it? Or is it just that um, we automatically have it equipped and we can only have like uh, maybe five buffs at a time or something? I, I don't really know. <laughs> Get out of the way, I'll hit you with my shield. Hit to progress. So the game is kind of teaching us stuff as we're going along, obviously. Uh, this, of course, is one of those pads where you gotta have like your whole team is standing on it before you can progress further because it's kind of like a point of no return. And uh, I never really got into the late game, but I still really do enjoy this game in general. So I'm, I'm very excited about it, you know? Lots, lots of you, like I said, like lots of you have been requesting me to play this game. And you know what? After playing it for a little bit, it was like, yeah, I should have started a series on this game a long time ago because it's really a good game, you know? Oh boy. Uh, oh, it's Groot. It's Groot. I know that there's a Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Don't get angry at me, okay? Jeez. He. And also, they're using uh, those weird fireball dog throwing things uh, to kind of instruct us of long range enemies and dodging it and how the mechanics work and junk like that because the boss enemy of this area kind of uses ranged attacks. Now, the furthest I played into this game, of course, was just this whole starting area and that was that was pretty much it folks like I didn't really play any further I didn't play into the second dungeon or anything because like I said, you know, I I went through the tutorial and okay that didn't hurt much ah. I went through the tutorial and then I thought okay no I want to get the rest of this stuff on camera so that I can experience it for myself oh, how dare you there's also a dodge thing too where we can do this and then it's like on a seven second cooldown rip me is that stamina yes it is super duper speed okay we stopped for some weird reason why are we slow what Oh, it wasn't speed. It was a poison spell. <laughs> oh, man. And then I guess, like, this is something to do with the story. I, I don't care about the story, so I'm probably going to end up missing quite a few things. Uh, here, to take the power and disturb my research, no one disturbs the work of the great Simtar Razwag. I'll see to it that you never leave this place again. Okay, whatever. That's cool, I'm getting charged by special attack. You never anticipated this. You never anticipated it. Yes, we got one of them down. And now the thing about this boss is so cool, he reminds me of a Bomberman boss, doesn't he? He's gonna shoot forward and now he's gonna shoot to the side. Because the strategy is like so simple, man. It's so simplistic, I love it. I don't know how we're supposed to actually get rid of his barrier. I think it just kind of dies over time by attacking him enough. Yes! Kill it before it kills us! Ugh. The ranged attacks hurt me. I knew that they were going to hurt. And you see, we end up taking a bit of extra damage because we're on the higher difficulty. But as I said, we're getting lots and lots of extra loot. And I am all about that. So we might end up just playing on the harder difficulty forever. Unless it just gets insane later. I don't know. Don't you dare touch the artifact, kid. Urgh, I'll be back for you. <laughs> He didn't laugh, I just added that myself. So don't be scared, okay? He's not laughing at us. We're laughing with him. Touch the artifact. I don't know what this thing is or what it does, but that's okay. Give me the coinage. I should probably be dashing like all the time. And now, oh, we get rewards. Oh, delicious monies, which I have no idea where the shop is that we end up spending our monies on. I don't know, but that's okay. We got a whole bunch of extra stuff. Did we win? Yeah! Bowser! Thanks for watching, everybody! Hope you enjoy the new series. Like I said, it's gonna kind of be like a micro-series, micro-episodes where we're gonna do like one dungeon equals an episode and stuff, and we'll see how far this ends up going. It's entirely up to you and the amount of support that you give me. Sayonara, and stay epic, everybody. Bye.